like I personally think, and I'm more than happy for anyone to tell me otherwise, but I think that I was kind of respectful to every single person on that show. I stood up for my partner when I needed to, and I was always by her side because I understood her, but I was never mean or disrespectful to anyone. There's so many nuggets here, so I won't interrupt the interview with my opinion. What you just heard is the theme for the entire video. Um, now let's <laughs> talk about the stuff that was said about Dom. She said that it was clear that Dom was going to be the villain during filming. We were clear. shocked when the edit didn't portray that. She would pick who she was having a bad time in their relationship, decide who she thought was the villain, then she'd go for the jugular. There would be one at every dinner party. Obviously, that didn't air because they can't make their princess look shit. So, that's a contradictory statement. If she, everyone thought she was going to be the villain, how could they not make her princess look shit? Well, so I think the con- contradiction is that they said it was clear she was going to be the villain, but then in the next sentence they said she would decide who she thought would be the villain and she'd go for them. So, I'm like, hold on, is she the villain or is she, or is there other oh, I'm confused by that sentence. So- I know. So it doesn't make a lot of sense. But basically, they're saying that Dom had a go at everyone at the dinner party. She'd constantly pick fights amongst the cast, which never made it to air. And the whole cast thought that Dom was going to be the villain. Whole cast? They said everyone was on their side. There was a reason. I think their words were there was a reason that everyone sided with me and not her. And that it could have easily gone either way. It could have been Dom being the villain and her not being. I'll say this. There was a vast majority that there was a larger group of friends that were friends with Olivia and Jackson than us. Mm -hmm. Because we were segregated from the group very early. Um, What do you mean by segregated? Like, we didn't, in terms of, like, your room was away from them or producers? Yeah, we weren't invited you, to. They, or the contestants segregated you. Yeah, that's how it felt. Okay. I mean, there were plenty of times that the guys caught up and I wasn't invited. A whole heap of them. Um, by guys, do you mean, like, Olivia? No, 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 not Olivia. I mean, like, Jackson and all that because I, I was sort of segregated away from that. Me and Dom both were. What uh, do you mean? Okay, so. Like, you felt left out from the group. At times, because there were plenty of times that we were, you know, doing what we weren't supposed to and catching up outside of filming, right? People were going over each other's places, they were having little parties and stuff. Take, for example, the party with the whole saga about photo, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not going into that again. But we didn't even know that was on. Like, we were never aware that people were meeting up. We would only know, meet up with Mitch and Ella, and that was it. I know I met up with Mitch and Brent and stuff, and Brent and I were very close as well. He'd always let me know when there was stuff, but there was plenty of things that we just genuinely didn't even know about. So, you felt like the group didn't include you in social things? Oh, a lot of the time, yeah. And whether that was because I remember during the show, like, I remember saying this to Dom and I was feeling it and I was like, shit, like, I just heard, like, everyone's out doing this. Like, what? There was a, I think at one point there was a group chat that I wasn't in, that everyone else was, that me and Dom weren't in or something like that. I don't know. Like the entire cast? Yeah, either all the guys or some of them. I don't really know. What's mean? Yeah. Is what it is. How did that feel when you guys like found out that there was like meetups that you weren't invited to? There well, was group chats happening. Was look, it, it was disappointing at the time, but at the end of the day, I was never there for a group. I made amazing friends from that experience, but I was never there for them. I was there for Dom. I was there for the wife that I was going to be meeting. So it sucked. Wasn't going to drag me down. Good attitude to have. So you think that. The reason that the group sided with Olivia and was, you know, closer to Olivia wasn't mm. as a result of Dom's behaviour. It was just a result of the friendship dynamic in the I group. I just think, yeah, there's friendships and you stand up for your friends and that's what happened. And I don't understand why this whole perpetuating saga of continuously trying to explain why the whole group was on our side. But there was clearly conjecture amongst the table. Take Reunion, for example. I think it was pretty clear that there was like, you know, a few of the things we discussed during the um, show were brought back up later on at reunion and we discussed, you know, like, and there was plenty of people saying you can't do that to Dom or standing up for Dom. You know, there was obviously Ella was by her side and they've, they are best friends to this day. I'm pretty sure Selena had some words with Dom saying like, I'm so sorry, like, I understand this is the wrong thing to do, blah, blah, blah. And Dion had Dom's back at every waking also, turn. S- um Selena, Celine. Celine, a great example, yeah. I mean, there was quite a few on Dom's side. Well, yeah, I've just named about five or six. I don't think it was like, you know, 80-20. I think it was more like 60-40. And it's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. Like, why does it have to be, there were so many people on my side, that must be the truth. Like, why are we continuously digging down this idea of one of us has to be wrong? I just feel like the, (laughs) the people that aren't on Dom's side are kind of like, 
not a fan of Dom. Maybe they were jealous. Do you feel like there was some jealousy among the brides and that was kind of why? No, I don't think jealousy was the right is the right word. I just don't think they gave her the time of the day to understand what she was saying. Genuinely, that's how I view what people sometimes see with Dom because she is abrasive. Like, she'll be the first one to admit it. She's abrasive sometimes when she talks. She's not having a crack at people. She's trying to get to the bottom of something. And she'll be like- time to fuck around. She's going straight to the point. straight to the point. (laughs) Yeah. And people have really resonated with that. And it's really just gotten to a case now where it's just like- like you mentioned before, the quote of Dom would have a crack at everyone at the dinner party. She would choose the most vulnerable, quote unquote, and blah, 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 blah. No, <laughs> like genuinely. What would happen is, is there would be something that she would disagree with, usually because it would break one of her moral sort of mm. ideologies, and she would speak up about it. But I'm sorry, we are on a TV show at a dinner party with a whole bunch of other cast members to talk about our relationships, what is right, what is wrong, what is great, what is bad. That's the point of that scenario, to see what's going on. We're not there to sit and talk about how we all want to go to Fiji one day. And she is a very outspoken person who says how she thinks. So I think if she yeah. did see something that she didn't agree with, she was obviously always going to speak up about it. Absolutely. And I think as well, like how, you know, Olivia said that she would attack people that were vulnerable or whatever the word was. I didn't see it like that. I saw it as her... Mm-hmm defending people that needed a voice or that were being picked on. Like, for example, Holly. I know Jackson and Olivia mentioned that in the podcast, how, you know, she had to go at Andrew. And I'm like, but Andrew isn't the victim here. Holly is the victim. Andrew was in the wrong. Clearly, he treated Holly like shit. And Holly was being shut down. She was being silenced by Jackson and Olivia. She was being victim blamed. And Dom stuck up for her. And then somehow that makes Dom a bad person. Honestly, I can't explain the logic because I just don't have an answer. Thank you so much for watching this video. Now, if you really, 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 really did enjoy this video, please click on the subscribe button so you can be notified of more videos like these.